My name is Jackson Kinyanjui, the founder of Climate Change Kenya, and today I want us to look into the GIS simulation of Lake Naivasha and its flooding levels. Lake Naivasha is the second largest freshwater lake found within the Rift Valley after Lake Baringo. It stands at 139 kilometers squared. The waters of Lake Naivasha remain fresh despite the lack of a surface outlet, its shallow depth and high net evaporation rate. It is at a surface altitude of 1884 meters above sea level. It has an average depth of 10 to 12 meters and a maximum depth of 30 meters. Lake Naivasha is fed by three rivers, that is River Gilgil, River Malewa, which are the two perennial rivers, and River Karate, which is the one seasonal river. They all emanate from a Buru forest and a Badea forest. The last time the residents of Lake Naivasha experienced such water levels was in 1906, when the water levels were at 1892 meters above sea level. The areas affected by these rising water levels include Kihoto, Mayela, Jambini, and Kijabi. Some of the effects of these rising water levels include 1. The displacement of over 15,000 households within the affected area. And secondly, it has led to the increase of human wildlife conflict, which has seen the hippos trying to access the dry land areas, which has led to the deaths of many humans. Thirdly, it has led to the increase of pollution from the non point sources, which has emanated from the surface runoff going into Lake Naivasha due to the flooding effect. And fourthly, it has led to the increase of waterborne diseases within the areas where people reside where the flooding has already taken place. Causes. Which are some of the causes? One, it's climate change. Putting in mind that the El Nino years experienced in 2009 and 2010 and also in 2014-2015 led to the unprecedented increase in water inflows into Lake Naivasha. Number two, land use changes. The riparian lands have been encroached by humans and this has led to what we call the reduction of the surface area that was initially occupied by the lake. Also, the building of man-made dikes has also led to the reduction of the surface area of the lake. And thirdly, we have deforestation activities and human encroachment taking place within a Buru forest and a Badea forest. This has led to the increase of surface runoff and the reduction of time for groundwater recharge. Solutions include environmental engineering. Secondly, it also includes includes canals being built to drain the excess water from Lake Naivasha. Thirdly, it also includes planting of papyrus reeds which help to reduce the siltation from the rivers which drain into Lake Naivasha. Fourthly, increasing our afforestation and reafforestation activities within the Eburu and Abadea forest. And lastly, dredging activities. This entails the removal of silt which has already increased the bed of the lakes that's why the flooding effect is being experienced. Thank you for listening and continue subscribing to our channel for more educative insights on the flooding scenarios within the Rift Valley. Thank you so much.